School leaders in a western Iowa community got an earful tonight following allegations that a teacher used a racial slur in her classroom. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Students at Denison High School walked out of class today in protest. They chanted and held signs. They protested American history teacher Crystal Holt, who has publicly admitted to using the N-word in front of students during class. The students who walked out today said they wanted their voices heard. It makes me mad. You know, you don't get to do that. I get like, oh, it was like context, context, but you could have said you could have said the N word. You didn't have to say it with a hard ER. All I've known is that she has said this racial slur back in the past and in a few months, like she's repeated herself several for several years. Tonight, Denison school board members take action, placing that teacher, Crystal Holt, on paid leave. The board held a regularly scheduled meeting, and a wave of community members turned out to discuss the issue. As Kent Lutzen reports, the incident has led to a much larger conversation about race in the school. In a Western Iowa school library, what would have normally been a typical Denison School Board meeting turned into a lengthy conversation about a racial slur used by Crystal Holt, a government teacher. The word should not be used in any context. The school board decided to place Holt on paid administrative leave after the incident. However, many in the audience disagreed. Come out and start this smear campaign to try to make her out to be a racist in order to get her off of a student's back academically is nonsense and it's also embarrassing. As a teacher, when a student asks a question, it is our first impulse to the best of our ability to answer that question. Nearly everyone in attendance was not questioning Holt's character. In fact, they praised her. Yet some raised red flags on her use of the word and whether it was used as a teachable moment. Holt was not at the meeting, but she explained her use of the word to a local radio station. Her husband, Iowa State Representative Stephen Holton, shared it on Facebook. The case deals with racism, and I asked why they put hate crimes on their board, and one of the students said, because in the reading it says he used pejorative terms. And another student in that group said, what does pejorative mean? And I said, it means derogatory. And the student said, what does derogatory mean? And I said, it means terms that are not nice to race and continued trying to explain that. And I said he used the N-word and then I said he used the word. High school senior, senior Chris Espino, adds Holt used the N-word more than once. It did cause a reaction later on on Friday once uh, the more children knew about, more students knew about the actual issue that occurred. And uh, it caused a spark again when she came in the classroom and repeated the phrase and uh, proceeded to try to defend herself. Most that spoke up during the meeting believe conversations surrounding race is important and say we should not shy away from it in the school system. If people are saying, well, you can't say those words and they have to be removed from our language, the second that you do that, you're releasing a beast that you have no idea what the consequences are going to be on the other side of that tunnel. The public comment portion of the meeting lasted nearly 90 minutes and emotions ran high throughout. There is that there was no apology and there was no understanding on the other side, which is what kind of set it off. But other than that, it's not really focused on her. It's not really focused on trying to attack anybody or anything. It's more so how do we solve the issue that she made to make sure it doesn't happen again. In Denison, Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now. The school board said they will not make any further decisions until their investigation is complete.